This is Nuts About Mutts, a howl and good time for everyone. I love dogs, you love dogs. In fact, you love dogs so much that you and your friends around the table are bona fide dog walkers. It's the end of a rough day of dog walking, and it's time to take these pooches back to their homes. But watch out, because there's a good boy out there having too much fun, and you'll need to distract him before he chases your dogs all over the neighborhood. Nuts About Mutts is played over three rounds. Players take turns playing cards until one player plays their last card. Everyone else counts their leftover cards, which turn into points. At the end of the third round, the player with the fewest points wins the game. Ready to get started? Set up the game by shuffling the deck and dealing cards to each dog walker as shown on page 4. Drop one dog bone per player around the draw pile, minus one, then flip cards from the deck until you show a dog. Now you're ready to get barking. On your turn, you must play either a dog card or an action card. Dog cards must match either the color, number, or breed of the dog card on the top of the dog pile. Action cards don't have this stipulation, but after you resolve your action card, you'll pick the color the next player has to play. If you can't play a card, you must draw one from the deck. If you're lucky and the card you drew can be played, you can play it. Otherwise, add it to your hand, but in either case, your turn ends and play proceeds clockwise. But hold on for a second, things are about to get tricky. Let's learn about matches and runs. A match is a dog card in your hand that is identical to the dog pile's top card in color, breed, and number. A run is a dog card of the same color as the dog pile's top card, but is one number higher or lower. If you have a match or a run in your hand, if you shout match or run, you can play it at any time, even when it's not your turn. If you start your turn with a match or run, you can play an additional card, just like you would normally on your turn. But if you play a match or run on someone else's turn, their turn is skipped and play proceeds clockwise from where you are sitting. Pardon the interruption, but I also need to tell you about action cards and that playful good boy I mentioned earlier. The doghouse forces the player with the fewest cards to draw two cards. If you play the fire hydrant, you may force a player of your choice to swap hands with you. Fleas force the players to your left and right to either draw a card or play a flea from their hand. Each player that plays a fleas card forces you to draw one card instead. If you play pedigree, choose a breed of dog from your hand and, starting with the player to your left and going clockwise, then ending with you, everyone can play all cards of that breed from their hand. Finally, this is the good boy. If a mutt card is played, Everyone at the table needs to quickly cover up a dog bone, and the player that doesn't has to draw a card. The round ends once someone plays their last card. Now, everyone scores their leftover cards in hand, one point per dog card and two points per action card. Finally, set up for the next round and continue playing. After three rounds, players add up all their points, and the player with the least total points is the most possum dog walker. You win! Nuts About Mutts is fun for all ages, and you can adapt the rules to help kids of all ages enjoy it. Matches, runs, and action cards keep the game fast and engaging for adults and older kids. Little kids, or some other players, may not enjoy the need for quick action. In that case, just have all actions happen on a player's turn and take out the action cards. Played this way, the game is playable by all ages and skill levels. <laughs>